The only thing cheaper than a Honda XR 650L is the rider. And I needed a new chain slider, so instead of paying 20, 30, 40 dollars, I made one from a geezer drain pan. So if you want to see how, stick around. Hi, I'm Franco from adventurebikegroup.com. We will chat about bike riding, maintenance, travel tips and more. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and for any links you can check the description below. Okay, so I noticed while lying next to the bike that my chain slider is completely eaten away by the chain. And I, I think it's the original because when I loosened the screws, there was still blue Loctite from the factory on it. So I checked online and I saw what they cost and I saw on the forums there's no good replacement at a good price. Um, and the cheap stock one or the stock one is very soft. So this must have been eaten in... Well, it's less than 14,000 kilometers, so it's about 9,000 miles. So I phoned around, I couldn't find one locally, uh, so I decided to make one myself. So I saw online some other guy took a drum and cut one out. Um, all I had lying around was an old uh, geezer drain or drip pan. It's about 4 millimeters thick. Um, so I removed it uh, when I opened the cover of the front sprocket. Just a moment of truth to see uh, whether it was welded because <laughs> I've seen some bad welds on a, a where the splines have worn because you know about the, the, the stock front sprocket is uh, I think 8.5 millimeters thin the contact patch with the, the shaft and the output shaft and that eats away at the, the splines so I, I need to replace that that's the first thing I need to replace uh, with the thicker 13.6 millimeter uh, aftermarket one like the Fritzko, you can check in the description below. I will make a video when I do that. Um, anyway, so luckily mine was, it looks fine. Um, I can't see any damage there. Anyways, I removed the original slider, the damaged one, um, placed it on the drip pan and traced it out with a permanent marker. And now I had to cut this out. So I tried a hacksaw and it was remarkably easy to cut through uh, the plastic, the thick plastic. Um, once I've cut out the basic shape, uh, square around it, I had to trim it right down to get to the, the correct shape. So I used the hacksaw blade, uh, it got hot, gently cutting it, um, shaping it off. Uh, tried the Leatherman, but that was a bit difficult. Then the tricky part was the holes at the ends where the, the screws go through, because a little, there's a little bit of a like a washer that fits into it, a press fit, uh, so I had to somehow file that away. So again, I drilled some holes, it's difficult to drill because it slides around quite a lot. Um, ended up using the file and then the Leatherman to carve it out, um, carve the hole out until I could fit those little washers in there. Um, so the first one was done then i had to measure exactly the right distance because i didn't want it to be too short because it wouldn't fit then and if it's too long it's going to flap around and hit the front sprocket so so uh yeah so luckily i measured it a couple of times and i managed to get it just right and then there's a little slot in the middle that fits into a little protrusion on the it's, it looks like the swing arm or with the swing arm attaches uh, right behind the front sprocket so it has to slip in there. This was a little bit small initially, so I had to file it a little bit bigger. But anyways, in the end, everything fit perfectly. Um, put some new Loctite on the screws, clean them out first, put some new Loctite in. And it looks like it's it's got a hole. It, it fits nicely. It's much harder than the original chain slider. Um, and it's four millimeters thick, which is exactly the minimum limit uh, according to the manual. If you look at the manual, you have to check this one, I think, every 800 kilometers. Well, it's fairly regularly. I'll show a picture on the screen of the manual. Um, but this one is obviously way below 4 millimeter. I mean, it's gone, so it's zero. Uh, and I wanted to make a riding video today, but uh, I don't like riding with stuff that I know is, is damaging the bike. You can, see, you can see how badly the swing arm has been worn um, from the chain slapping against it. And, and that's why... I always like going through everything myself um, when I get a, a new bike. So, yeah, hopefully this is only one of very few things I'll find. Anyways, 
If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing, liking the video and sharing it. Uh, thank you. See you next time.